Okay, I'm sitting in the parking lot of my dermatologist office and my appointment is in five minutes to get the laser treatment done. So today we're doing laser treatment for my rosacea. You see how bright my cheeks are? That's gonna change very quickly. Um, so today is treatment one of doing the laser treatment for rosacea and the redness on my cheeks. Um, all they told me to do to prep was to try and trigger my rosacea as best as I could. So what really triggers mine is being very hot. So I had my heated seat on. It's like 80 degrees outside right now and I have a sweatsuit and like I had the heated seat on. I had the heat going in here. I am burning up. I don't know if it really affected my rosacea at all because I feel like my rosacea is totally random, but um, yeah, now I'm just sweaty and gonna go in here. So, uh, <laughs> wish me luck. All right, I just got out. Um, it doesn't look too bad, but it feels like I've been pricked and poked and sunburned. But, uh, and also she wouldn't let me film in there. So that was a little upsetting. Well, not really that upsetting, but also I'm kind of dramatic. She probably would have let me film if I like, said something else but I'm too big of a baby because I said like oh can I film and she was like oh well you'll have goggles on so like you won't be able to see to film and I was like okay like I I didn't have the heart to be like oh well like I was just just gonna set it up you know what I mean like I was just gonna set it in like the chair and just have it film like the process a little bit but and I think she would have let me do that but I think she just didn't understand and then I was too much of a baby to say anything so um now we are heading home my face hurts <laughs> I got home not too long ago and I think a majority of the redness is starting to fade. I mean, that just feels like that's maybe my regular redness. I'm not really sure to be honest, but it definitely is a little swollen in areas. I don't know if y'all can tell, like if I can get in a certain angle. <laughs> I don't know, that actually looks really bad, but um, it's a little swollen in patches. Maybe you can see that it's like a circle, circle, circle because that's what the little laser is in. Like a, I feel like I'm really close to you all, but I just have like these circles that look a little puffed up and swollen, just a smidge. Um, my face doesn't hurt anymore. It kind of felt like a sunburn at first. Um, it kind of had a little bit of a, a tingling feeling, I guess, but now she feels pretty normal and um, I'm just noticing some swelling now. <laughs> But other than that, she's doing great. I also asked the lady, I said, am I gonna see any results after this first treatment? And she told me that she didn't think so. <laughs> she said, I probably wouldn't even notice until after the third treatment, which is a long time because you have to wait like a month in between treatments. But I did pay for three treatments. I did like a package deal or whatever. So first treatment down and two more to go. I'm really hoping that this helps my rosacea quite a bit. I feel like it will, you know. Um, she said everyone's different on whether or not like I have to go back and like continuously um, get it done. She said some people do it like once a year or something like that and then she also has some that come every two years to just kind of do a little laser treatment to um, keep it up. So I don't know, this may just be a part of my normal routine even though it hurt quite badly but I'm uh, doing okay right now. Um, she said that if I was in any pain or whatever, I could just put uh, an ice pack on my face and it should be okay. And I also need to wait 24 hours to uh, sweat or overheat and also wear makeup. We'll see how this goes for the next um, couple of days, I guess. She said there could be bruising, could be swelling and if I do have those things, it'll probably be like right here because this was like the worst of it. It hurt so bad whenever she did it here. And then pretty much the majority of the time was me just getting jump scared every time it happens because it's like a flash. And then I wouldn't know that the laser was coming and it kind of hurts, you know? She says it's like a bee sting, which it very much was. It was just kind of, <laughs> every time she would do it, I'd be like, Ugh, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> and I keep apologizing. I said, I'm trying not to move, I'm so sorry. And she's like, it's okay, like I do the exact same thing. So <sighs> I wish I could film that for you all because that probably would have been funny. Okay, it is the next morning and my face is looking pretty good right now. Um, I think I just noticed a hint of swelling whenever I did my skincare this morning. I can kind of feel it in this area. Um, but overall, I think she feels good. She looks pretty much the same, which is as expected. Last night, the only thing was that my face started feeling really hot again, which that's kind of what it does at night anyways, whenever I had rosacea. So I 
put an ice pack over my face and that helped quite a bit but um then this morning here we are i don't know this is it <laughs> i'm also filming right here in this very weird location area because cody is still asleep and um i don't want to bother him that's where it's it that's where it's into my sentence um but we do have to get ready in a minute i have to get ready right now but cody later because we are going out to eat because it's like fourth of july you know so um <laughs> i think we're gonna go eat cracker barrel with my family so i have to get ready for that good thing my hair is already pretty like straight i think i just have to kind of fix her around but i don't think i'll be able to film me getting ready because somebody is sleeping in the bedroom and I can't take you all in there while he's sleeping. Okay, update. So we just got back from Cracker Barrel like six hours ago. <laughs> yeah, just got back. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. We ate there at lunch. It's 8 p.m. now. <laughs> yeah, it was actually a really long time ago. But I am in my Halloween PJs. Woo! As usual. And we got something really cool at Cracker Barrel that I've seen everyone talk about on TikTok. Bonus. Making some tea. It's Batty! Oh my gosh, look how cute! It's this bat plushie and like his little wings open up. Where are you going? Nowhere. But his little wings open up and he's so cute. I love him so much. I seen someone talking about it on TikTok. They were like, everyone's obsessed with his bat plushie. I'm gonna go to my Cracker Barrel and see if they have one. And they had one left. We also saw a real bat at Big Lots. <gasps> Oh yeah, we went to Big Lots to see if they had any Halloween decorations. Spoiler alert, they didn't. And there was an actual bat. Wait, let me close his ears. There was a dead bat in Big Lots. So, but he's so cute and so soft and cuddly. I'm obsessed with him. Look at his little face. But this is an, a little update on my face right now. And um, I don't know if you can kind of tell, but there's a hint of swelling like in this area right here. And on this side as well but overall my skin feels like pretty good um feels pretty normal just that little hint of puffiness but I feel like you can't see it as much as I can feel it like whenever I put my hands over I can tell that this is a little puffy but I don't know I think your skin is handling the treatment well so I'm very excited about that now I'm going to go lay on the couch and I'm going to watch probably scary YouTube videos or something. <laughs> okay, I just got home from my hair appointment. Look how pink, oh my gosh. I did the rose gold toner again and I'm in love with her. And then she curled it, so cute. I will say I cut my bangs and she didn't really know how to fix them for me. So she kind of put them in here to look a little like they're blended, but I think they're fine. Right? Anyway, so I just got home from getting my hair done and Cody and I are going out to eat with um, our friends and stuff. So I am kind of already ready, I guess, but I definitely need to work on my makeup a little bit because especially where I got my hair done, I think she took some makeup off around the edges. So we're gonna fix that really quick. I don't know why, but I feel like the pink hair just looks really good on me. Like, I know it sounds weird to say, but I almost, I feel like it brings out my features a lot. And I don't know, more than any other color, like brown hair, blonde hair, or anything like that. Like the pink is always what I feel like looks best on me. I'm just obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with how pink it is now because the more I wash it, the more it just looks more like peachy rose gold kind of look. So like even, as it fades, it looks even better. You know what I'm saying? It's like the perfect hair color for me. <laughs> so earlier this morning, whenever I was in a very big hurry, I didn't do lashes. I just put on some mascara really quickly. And I don't know if you all can see this, okay? But this, these lashes on this side in particular, were giving me so much trouble today because I think it's because I sleep on this side and I've been wearing my eye mask and stuff. So like these lashes were just all sorts of, I don't know. They were just literally everywhere. Like literally were like crazy looking. So I tried to fix that as best as I could, but I don't think it worked. <laughs> so we're gonna pop on a few of these little lashes that I got off of Amazon. These are so nice because you just plop them on wherever you want and i've been enjoying not doing such a big strip lash i don't know why but like well i do know why i think it's because the rosacea on my eyes really have been bothering my eyelids a lot and it seems like i just can't do my makeup like i used to do where i would do like a huge falsy lash and like a huge black wing and that kind of thing it almost seems to irritate my eye more so i've been doing very 
much more like minimal with the lashes and also the eyeliner as well and also buying like hypoallergenic and that kind of thing so um that's why i really like these lashes because i just put like one or two on like the edge right here and i'm good to go you know so we're gonna do that right now so my hairdresser is leaving me she is moving um and she's going to be like two hours away so i don't think i'll be going to the new salon where she'll be so it's kind of a sad appointment today because it was our last time together and i really really loved my hairdresser and it took me a very long time to find a hairdresser that i really liked and did exactly what i wanted and just knew what i meant whenever i said stuff um so it's kind of sad today but you know she's moving on in her life and she's oh oh i just I just really ruined that lash. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm happy for her, but it's still very sad. On a fun note, I think Cody and I are gonna go see Insidious tomorrow. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that because that movie looks so good. Okay, outfit wise, I am thinking about wearing some jeans, which I will say, I, I just have these jeans. The jeans I really wanted to wear, I think are dirty because I can't find them. <sighs> And if they're dirty, that means they're in the bottom of the laundry basket. And I really don't feel like searching for them. And they're probably too nasty to wear anyway. So think about these jeans, okay? And then this Teddy Fresh button down that I got a little while ago. Because I have not worn her yet. I don't know. You think that's cute? I mean, they're like, I was kind of thinking of like a monochrome, like kind of look, you know, with like denim on denim. But this is like kind of a darker denim than this denim. I was wanting the other pants. I don't know, I'm gonna have to put it on and then we'll figure it out from there. Actually, okay, I found these jeans. They're like kind of ripped, so I don't know, but I feel like the color of them match the Teddy Fresh button down more. So we're gonna try this one. They're nice and stretchy so I can eat a lot. <laughs> I don't know, I really love this shirt. Look at the cute little teddy bears for buttons, but I just don't know if it looks good with these jeans. Now I'm thinking the jeans are even wider than the shirt. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this isn't the best outfit idea that I had in mind. Maybe we'll try something else. A few moments later. Okay, I think I may wear just this little sweater thing. I mean, she's pretty cute. I don't know. I don't know, I'm feeling a little defeated now because now I'm just hungry and I feel like nothing's really working out. But I think I may wear this shirt and these jeans and then I'll wear these cute little guest tennis shoes that I just got the other day from Burks. And we'll just call it a freaking day, you know? I also want some kind of hair accessory. Like, what if I... It's a little creamier than... Like, what if I put, like, a ribbon in my hair? Uh, I don't know. I have this thing. That's pretty cute, maybe. All right, so here's the whole fit. Cody said we should wear these shoes and... Oh, God. And this headband. I was debating on her at first, but, I mean, she does match the white here. And she also has, like, these crisscrossies like that that also match these crisscrossies. So I feel like maybe she's... She's an okay go, you know? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear puppy. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Oh, you're such a good baby. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's been like a week since I got the facial treatment done and um, swelling, it has very much gone down, like I don't have any issues. I will say I kind of feel like my redness isn't as bad as it used to be, even though she said that I really wouldn't notice anything until after the third treatment, but maybe it's a placebo. <laughs> I don't know. Cause sometimes I look at my face and I'm like, wow, like I was expecting it to look a lot more red. But then other times I look and I'm like, oh, I mean, that doesn't really look like anything has changed. So I don't really know. <laughs> I'll keep you all updated on the next couple of treatments and we'll see how that goes. But today is puppy's birthday. Um, he's 10 years old today. So for his birthday, usually what we like to do is uh, we take him to the store, um, some kind of pet store here. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> It's not like a big chain, it's just some sort of little store around here and he goes in there and we pick out some toys that he would like and some little like birthday treats and snacks. So that's probably what we're going to do today. Maybe we'll go get him a pup cup at Dairy Queen because I also kind of want some ice cream at Dairy Queen. It sounds really good. But what I need to do right now is wash my face. Alright, face is washed. 
So this vlog is honestly probably like all over the place. <laughs> But maybe that's okay, because maybe that kind of keeps things interesting, that it's not all about just one thing, you know? Because I will say the laser treatment kind of sucked, just because I wasn't able to film it, because I'm a big fucking baby. But also, like, I mean, there was, really wasn't much that happened there, except for the laser light just going off and me being like... <laughs> and jump scaring myself every time. Um, so nothing really interesting there. And then my face, I mean, all it did was get a little bit red and swollen and then it pretty much healed up. I need to clean the house today and I need to do some editing on this video. I also need to do some research for the next Spooky Diaries episode. I've seen this TikTok of um, this guy who went to the, uh, I can't remember what it was called. I think it was in like Buffalo, New York, but it's some mental asylum that, um, isn't running anymore, obviously. It's like a hotel now, but it's the asylum that inspired the video game Outlast. And I don't know if you all have like played that or seen people play it on YouTube, but that game is so, so scary. I really love the Outlast series. I love watching, I don't really play them, but I love watching like Dashy Games play them or like PewDiePie play them and that kind of thing, you know? And it's so terrifying. So this place is said to be haunted, obviously, because like a lot of horrible things happen in this asylum and it's, all in like the video game and you can stay there i think it's like a hotel but like half of it you stay in at the hotel and the other half is abandoned so it's just like really creepy and really eerie and if you know the video game like things are weird in the basement so <laughs> i mean they're probably not actually weird like you know because it's just a video game but it's still very scary so i might talk about that place i'm not really sure i haven't investigated too much and to see like how haunted it really is but if it seems interesting then you know we may talk about that. I also seen this thing on TikTok. It's like a seven layer challenge or something, or not really a challenge, but just like the seven layer skincare method that people do. I guess that's probably, that's a better word, the method. Um, and it's doing seven layers of toner. And supposedly this is how you like really get that glass looking skin. Kind of don't trying that out a little bit here. <laughs> I've seen some people use like seven different toners or like three to four different toners too but then i read in the comments people are like oh you can use like just the same toner over and over again if you want to um but a lot of people like to do different toners that do different things for your skin i don't know if it's just this toner that i'm using but it almost feels like a little a little sticky you know that my eyelids are like sticking <laughs> so i can't close my eyes here's seven layers of toner my skin looks Looks good. It's also like dry, like it's not like greasy, you know what I'm saying? I guess it works. <laughs> We're here, puppy. Are you ready? You ready to pick out some toys? You look scared. Pizza, pizza. You like pizza? <laughs> You're like, yeah, that looks pretty nice. Actually, puppy is very particular about what toys he likes. These are his favorite, the Lufa doggies. You want a green one? <gasps> He gets so nervous in the store. You want a Coke? Zippy Cola. You want Cola? Mm -hmm. You want Pop? <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. Whatever he touched, we have to buy. Oh. He touched it. I did so. <laughs> That's the trend. Not Look much. Oh, there's a happy birthday. We got him the pink one last year. And look at the cupcake. Yeah, he didn't seem to like it though. <gasps> look at the lamb chop. There's the big birthday cake. He loves that one. You like the big birthday cake? Yeah, he does. You do like that. this, and he's like, oh. We had to get rid of it because it was torn up like crazy. That's so cute. He does love birthday cake. You get right. <laughs> oh, it's a little raincoat. <laughs> it was a clothes for my birthday. <laughs> yeah, he used to like those a lot, but he kept hiding them in the couch, and then we'll get them we'd lose them. We'll get them Remember, down. whenever we moved from our apartment, we picked up the couch, and there was all kinds of bones that just fell out of it. <laughs> now okay. he's back in the car. He's interested. Yep. Now that we're back in the car, he's like really excited to see what we got him. Look, it's a birthday cake. He used to love that. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's mine now. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Happy birthday, dear puppy. He's trying to get it up into the thing. <laughs> Look, he's like, Look at what that. A, oh. You coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> he's so funny. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, he used to, we actually get him this birthday cake every year, and usually he destroys it completely, and I have to throw it away, so he needed a new one. Then we got him the green loofah doggy. Oh, he's like, oh, loofah doggy. And then the slice of pizza. Ooh, <laughs> you, you're just like your mommy and daddy. Love pizza, huh? Look at that. Ah. Get that tag off there. Mm, oh, this the pizza. <laughs> Let's see. Is that, oh. <laughs> he wants to see what else he got. You like loofah doggy? That's interesting. No. Then, um, let me see something else. Oh, he needs Coke to go with his pizza. Oh, well, you don't really care for that one. <laughs> Aww. I think he may smell like the bones or something. And then we got him this little sweater. Oh, he's going to be so handsome. <laughs> and then these little bones. <laughs> I think he can smell them. He likes that. Yeah, that little. Yeah, he may smell that. <laughs> he's debating. Light work, no reaction. <laughs> Like it smells kind of good, but I don't really know. What's I don't it smell, really smell like? anything. I actually think it smells really bad, but maybe he wants one of these. Oh, that was the one. <laughs> no. That was the one he really wanted. Let's grab oh. oh, he dropped it. Okay, let's go get him a pop cup because I know he'll love that. <laughs> Pizza was his favorite. It was good on the tea first. <laughs> Are you filming me? You better not. You better put that phone up right now. He's so excited. He knows we're in the drive too. He knows he's getting it's a too pop smart. Up. I know. Cody got Whatever. a cotton. <laughs> Cody got a cotton candy blizzard. Get that pesky treat out of the way, though. Oh, look at the little teeth marks. <laughs> Taking chunks of the ice cream. Yummy. Yeah, you got that yummy. We just got home, and here's all of his toys and treats. And I just put the sweater on him. Here he comes around the corner. <laughs> you coming to pick out one of these toys, or what? Hi, you look so cute in your sweater. Well, let's show it off. Ooh, fashion show. <laughs> you look like you're ready for Christmas or something. Which one you want to play with? Pizza? Birthday cake? Oh, he's going for the bone. Bye. <laughs>